Okay, so today I am going to explain you on Michaelis Menten plot and also Line Weaver Buck plot. So it goes something like this Michaelis Menten plot is substrate concentration in the x axis, y axis initial velocity, and then you get saturation curve, and then this point here is a Vmax, maximum velocity of the reaction, half of the Vmax, so you get Km. This is the substrate concentration at which enzyme reaches half the maximum velocity. Okay, this is how the line we were, uh, sorry, Michaelis Menten plot goes. Same thing in uh, line weaver work plot, it goes something like this. It is all reciprocal of Michaelis Menten. Whatever you see, Michaelis Menten kinetics like uh, Michaelis Menten equation you have seen in, the, in my previous uh, uh, video. So we are going to explain, I am going to explain you on line weaver work now. So the x-axis is 1 over substrate concentration. It is all in reciprocals. Y-axis is 1 over Vi, initial velocity of the reaction. Okay, so the line goes like this. So there is a straight line which is indicating velocity of the reaction and it means it meets somewhere on the y-axis here and that particular point we call it as 1 over V max. This point is 1 over V max. If you elongate that line on the other side of x axis, so this is an x axis, this is the negative side of x axis, left hand side it meets on some point and this particular point we call it as minus 1 over km minus 1 over km so all these are min, uh, the numbers are written in minus sign just to implicate that they are in, on the left side of the zero other side of the zero and this will be just written in whole number say this is 2 4 6 this will be minus 2 minus 4 and minus 6 minus indicate just if they are on the other side of zero okay these are these are the things that you are going that you need to expect in line weaver work plot now let's see uh, taking example of competitive and non-competitive inhibition competitive 